picture. Oh, no, no, no. Put that back. That's not for kids. How do you even walk around with that thing? Please get rid of it. Who's your horses? I want to see what all the fuss is about. Why are all these pages stuck together? Uh. Well, I guess you could say Joel and Ellie got themselves in a sticky situation. Hey guys, it's Dan, your host, Judy Inge Reviews, and today I'm back for another video for The Last of Us. This one's going to be doing my video review for this week's episode of Season 1. This is for Episode 4, titled, Please Hold On To My Hand. Alright guys, this one's going to be doing a review today. This one's going to be doing a review for The Last of Us. This one's going to be doing my weekly review for this week's episode. This is for Season 1, Episode 4, called Please Hold On To My Hand. So, uh, this episode, Episode 4 for The Last of Us. So, four episodes in, really enjoying the series, really been enjoying The Last of Us television series so far. Um... In this episode, we basically get to see the continuation after the Bill and Frank episode, where we get to see Joel and Ellie on the road, pretty much. I mean, that's, you know, that's, you know, most of what this episode is. And it's a very, very well done episode uh, for the most part. Now, I will say for this episode, I do have a few minor gripes, which we'll go into when, you know, we go into the episode. But uh, for the most part, I really enjoyed the episode, and I thought it was a really, uh, really well done one. Uh, so, basically, this is what goes down in this week's episode. Um, you get started, you got Joel and Ellie. Ellie, they're on the road. Uh, you got Joel who's siphoning gas, and basically, you've got uh, Ellie who's kind of reading this like book throughout most of this episode, this like dad jokes book or whatever. And you know, she's just kind of trying to break a bit of the silence between the two, which is kind of cool because Joel is very much of a, uh, a closed book, if you will. <laughs> so <laughs> that was a bad joke, but just saying, um, you know, Joel definitely is uh, very reserved, you know, so she's kind of trying to, you know, make him laugh at least or something like that, you know. And, uh, you, you know, you kind of see them, they're traveling around, they're stopping at a camp for the night, uh, they're sleeping in, you know, sleeping bags and stuff, and Joel's not really sleeping and stuff, and they're kind of worried about, you know, potentially uh, people coming in and, you know, taking their stuff and trying to kill them and stuff, right? So, uh, you get to see them kind of uh, doing that. And uh, you got Ellie who comments about Joel's coffee. She doesn't like the smell of it and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, Joel doesn't really care. And we actually do get a few, you know, pieces of dialogue in the car that I thought were pretty darn good as well, too. Uh, where Joel mentions Tommy and how he was actually in the uh, in the military beforehand. So that was pretty cool as well, too, to get that, uh, that kind of idea. And they talk about family and, you know, what Tommy means to Joel and what Tess meant to Joel. And she's like, but I'm not family. And he's like, no, you're cargo. Uh, which is, again, very accurate to the game. So that's really cool. And anyway, um, might I just say one more time as well too, the visuals in this show, I'm going to continue to say it because it is so darn true. The visuals in this TV show are so incredible. The way they film it, the way it looks is incredible. I absolutely love it. Now, um, basically after that, we get to see a few scenes with them. Uh, they're kind of, you know, traveling. I got like one scene where he's like, Ella, you can, uh, you know, you can sleep a little bit, you know, until we get there. And she's like, I'm not tired. And that cuts to her like passed out, you know, just a little bit of, you know, fun humor, you know, on their way there. But they, uh, they end up getting a bit of a roadblock. So they have to take a bit of a detour. They go through this town and, um, well, this is when you get the trap. So the guy is on the road begging for help. And, you know, I think Joel already kind of knew something was wrong. Uh, Ellie's like, are we going to help him? And Joel's like, no. Uh, they try to turn around. They try to get out of the trap. And it's too late. They drop a major freaking, you know, cement block or whatever the hell that was. Um on the top of their vehicle and they go off the road and basically Joel and Ellie end up crashing the vehicle into one of the buildings and we get to see a major battle between uh, these you know new characters and of course uh, Ellie and Joel now if you've played the game you'll know a little bit of what this is but I'm not gonna you know compare the game to the TV show here but um I will say that one thing I am going to, you know, definitely make a bit of an observation of, and it's one thing that I noticed right away in the uh, TV show. Uh, the battle was really good. I enjoyed seeing Joel kind of fighting these guys, and I enjoyed seeing Ellie, you know, taking cover and all that stuff. And I did like when Ellie had to shoot the one guy that was about to kill Joel, uh, you know, to kind of save his life. Um, it shows the bond, and it shows a lot of, you know, the two of them and stuff, so that was good. But my one issue I had with it is that in the game, this was a visceral moment. 
Joel was a absolute savage. And I found that in the TV show, they muted a lot of it. They they kind of uh, showed a lot of the stuff off screen. Like, when Joel's about to kill that one guy brutally, like, we don't even see it. You know, Ellie just goes back in, you know, and we don't even see anything of it. Uh, we just hear a background noise of Joel killing the guy. Um, to me, that's what made the game so amazing is that it was so brutal and Joel had so many amazing kills. And in the TV show, it kind of felt more like, okay, we're just going to kind of like, you know, we'll hear Joel kill this guy in the background, but like, that's it, you know? Um, so I don't know. That part was a little weird for me, but the fight itself was really, really well done. Now we get introduced to Kathleen in this episode, who is like our main antagonist, I would say. And she was a pretty good antagonist. Uh, you know, she wasn't too bad. Uh, I do know that the actor for Peter, who is her right hand man, is the actor that played Tommy in the video game. So that's pretty cool as well, too. There's an interesting fact for all y'all uh, that were wondering. But uh, he's in this one as well, too. He's like kind of like the right hand man. And yeah, things are pretty different from the game. I will say, I'm not going to say anything about what it's about or what they changed but there were a lot of differences in this one uh in particular with this kathleen character and um again you know now they're upset because their men are dead now they you know they want justice for that they want revenge and uh you know you get a few conversations with like joel and ellie talking about having to you know kill somebody having to do that kind of stuff and how ellie says it wasn't her first time and stuff and their bond is growing a lot more as you kind of go throughout um but the episode ends up coming to an end as they go up this, like, major flight of stairs. Uh, they're basically, like, kind of in their sleeping bags, and they're kind of, like, uh, you know, trying to get to sleep for the night. And basically, at the end of the episode, uh, we kind of see Joel finally start to kind of laugh at some of these dad jokes that Ellie's telling him, which is, you know, which is good because I like seeing Joel and Ellie. Uh, and their banter and their, their you know, back and forth uh, was really, really well done. You know, Pedro and Bella, as I've said many, many times, um... Their on-screen chemistry and their dynamic is very, very good, and that that's one thing that uh, I really enjoy about them, is nothing feels fake, nothing feels off, it feels very legit, and that's what I really like about it. And the episode ends with the appearance of two major video game characters, both Henry and Sam, as they confront uh, Joel and Ellie in the middle of the night and uh, aim guns towards ba uh, both of their heads. So, um, and that's where the episode wraps up. So, uh, very enjoyable episode, really good. Uh, there were definitely some changes from the game. Um, I expected a little bit more brutality from the episode. I expected a little bit more of like a visceral type fight. I just felt like they kind of toned things down in the show version compared to how insane the game version was of this moment but uh like i said i'm not i'm not i'm gonna really try to not compare the game too much because the show it's it is its own original thing um obviously but it you know it's also hard at the same time when you get to certain scenes and you kind of expect certain things to go down and then they kind of tone things down you know but um yeah, I'm going to give this episode a 8.5. I liked it. I thought it was solid. It was a good episode. Um, you know, I, I enjoyed a lot of the dynamic between Joel and Ellie. Uh, it's it definitely my least favorite of the first four, but to not say that's bad, you know, I mean, I think it's it's still a really well done episode. 8.5 in my uh, in my books is a fantastic rating. Uh, anything like a 6 or below is when, you know, it starts to get questionable. Um, I wasn't like blown away with the episode, but I thought it was good. I thought it was a good episode, and I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what they have in store for this this Kathleen character, and, um, well, this episode was also very short, too, you know, it was only, like, 40-some minutes, right, um, so there is that as well, too, but, um, just a bit of a, a kind of heads up for all you guys, uh, if you're curious, uh, the promos are, uh, letting us know, and, of course, I will, uh, let you guys know as well, too, it's all over Instagram, it's all over, basically, all the social medias, um, but episode five of The Last of Us is going to be this Friday, because, the Super Bowl is this upcoming weekend, this Sunday, so they're airing The Last of Us two days early, which means it's going to be coming out this Friday, Episode 5, you can stream uh, uh, HBO's Last of Us. Uh, so make sure, of course, to uh, write that down on your calendars. Uh, I sound like I'm, like, sponsoring or something, like, oh, watch the new episode of The Last of Us. No, I swear to God, it's not sponsored, but uh, <laughs> before it does start to sound sponsored, let's end this video. Thank you all so much for watching this review. Make sure, of course, to leave a comment, and of course, if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed this video, make sure to click the subscribe button to miss any other videos for the the Last of Us. Make sure to follow me on Dan's Reviews Official on Instagram, guys. And of course, I'll see you guys really soon for more videos for The Last of Us. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out.